I have colleagues! Do their parents know they're here? <laughs> no, but if you keep screaming, maybe they'll hear you! <laughs> Is that your dad? <laughs> she grows any more hair on her face, yes. Okay, I'm a little confused here. Oh my, can I help? <laughs> Not that kind of confused. What's George Decay doing here? Howard, do you have latent homosexual tendencies? <laughs> of course not. So you say, yet here I am. <laughs> George, let me ask you something. How did you deal with being typecast as a science fiction icon? It's difficult. You try and stretch as an actor, do Strindberg, O'Neill, but all they want is course laid in, Captain. Tell me about it. It's fracking frustrating. <laughs> hey, Katie, why are you leaving? She's leaving because you really want to be with me. Howard, I found my girdle. It was in the dryer. <laughs> And with that mental picture, I think we're done for the evening. I'm just saying, you can take the damn plastic off the couch once in a while. Why? So you and Howard can hump on it? Ladies, ladies, I'm sure there's a middle ground. Shut up, Howard! <laughs> Let's talk. I'm gonna take my scooter out for a little spin. You happy? You drove your own son out of the house! Why don't you stop running in me? You don't belong. What are you guys doing here? It's Halo Night. He's not a man, he's a putt. And don't you take that tone with me, you gold digger. What did you call me? You heard me. And I'll tell you something else. You're barking up the wrong tree. Because as long as you're around, Howard is out of the will. You know what? I got better offers. I'm out of here. That's right. Go back to Babylon, you hoa. <laughs> So, Halo Night, huh? <laughs> Who's on the phone? It's Leonard! Why is he calling? Sheldon's sick! Were you playing with him? <laughs> For God's sake, Mom, 26 years old! Excuse me, Mr. Grown-Up! <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? Chocolate milk and Eggos, please! <laughs> Howard, listen to me. Wait, hang on, call waiting. But no, don't... Hello? Howard, I'm sick. Uh. <laughs> Howard sleeping. This is his mother. <laughs> Why are you calling at this ungodly hour? I need soup. Then call your own mother. I don't see the Bitcoin on here. Hey, maybe it's in that folder marked private and confidential? It's not. Okay, the program is almost ready to run. Mining for coins sounds so manly. Oh, we should sing a mining song. <laughs> Do you know a mining song? I don't know. Does TikTok by cash account? Because it has tunneled its way into my heart. Howard, what's going on? Are you boys roughhousing? No, we're not roughhousing. We're scientists. Scientists don't roughhouse. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Grown-Up! Oh, man, what happened? It crashed. It's been doing that lately. I think it's got a virus from all the music I've been downloading. <laughs> what kind of music? Mostly Asian. Some oldies. Yeah, we can use my laptop. They're not my little friends, and we don't want cookies! Actually, a cookie sounds good. All right, we'll have cookies! Thank you very much! <sighs> I wonder what he's doing right this very second. Mm, conducting experiments in zero gravity, <laughs> peering through his telescope at the birth of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, we know his life will never be the same. Howard! Can you hear me? I can hear you without the phone! I'm excited to talk to you, too. So, what's this mishigas about you moving out to go live with the little Polish girl? How about calling her my wife? Wives don't take boys from 
their mothers. They do. That's why we marry them. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Senior fitness was canceled. It turns out you can't forget how to ride a bike. <laughs> I'm fine, but oi, did Sam Harpootie and eat gravel. That's great, Ma. What's great about an 80-year-old Armenian man with half his chin scraped off? I guess I should go. No, 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 don't move. <clears throat> hey, Ma, can I have lamb stew for dinner? Lamb stew? I'd have to go to the Supermarket. Please, I got a real hankering. <laughs> oh, I can't say no to my little tushy face. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> Do you want the regular peas or the lasser? Always lasser peas with lamb stew. You're right. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> They're out of the Lasar. I got the regular! I really just wanted to have a nice, quiet day at home and watch the game. You could have a quiet day and watch the game here. How are the medicines not working? <laughs> just took it. At least let it reach your first stomach! <laughs> oh, hey, Mike. Let me help you out there. Thanks. What's wrong with your mom? Uh, her gout's flaring up. Turns out an apple pie a day does not keep the doctor away. <laughs> How could one little toe hurt so bad? Maybe because that little piggy is being crushed by the barn! <laughs> she should quiet down soon. I gave her enough pain meds to choke a... well, her. <laughs> Decent, Raj is here. You just started seeing naked women again. I don't want you to be confused about where the boobs should be. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? I thought you moved out. Oh, yeah, I was going to, and then Debbie and I got to talking over dinner the other night. I didn't have any place to go. She likes having me around, so we both said, why leave at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> this is precious. <laughs> that precious. <laughs> I'd like to back you up, but it sounds like it was pretty precious. Stewie, I can't find my glasses. Be right there, Deb Deb. <laughs> uh, they're probably on her head. <laughs> or in her neck. Listen, <laughs> you staying here seems like something she would have talked to me about. Well, maybe if you called your mother more often, you'd know. Wouldn't kill you to pick up the phone. 